Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. My name is Caitlin from GraceWorlds.com and today I am very excited to have a new series announcement for you guys. Now I know this video is short but that is because I have a coordinating blog post with it where it's just easier to write down my thoughts than spew them out here on YouTube so I hope you guys will check that out linked down below. But I am very, very, very excited to announce the next series that will be on my channel for the next three months, so March, April, and May. You will be able to experience Craft Your Stash Away. And my tagline is one project at a time, but yours might be a little bit different. So I'll just dive into exactly what I'm thinking in terms of what this series will be and what it'll be for you guys. But essentially we're taking a look at what we can get done in three months and breaking down our projects into smaller chunks so that we feel like we're making the progress that we should be but understanding it in a different format. So for example, my previous series has built you guys up with tips and tricks for your craft room, for your supplies, for better ways to use them and to utilize them in new ways. So hopefully this will train you to be successful at this next part. So essentially March, April, and May, I'll have a different miniature goal for each month in a project that I'm working on, on a product that I'm working on, etc. So like I said, I'll have more details in the blog post down below, but here's some of my potential focuses for next month and for the months following that is. So I have a traveler's notebook I want to finish. I have a chipboard mini album I want to start and finish. I have a certain section of my 2016 Disney album I'd like to finish, but notice how I'm not saying the whole album in that case. A traveler's notebook to me, I know how many photos I've printed, so I know there's a finite number of pages, whereas my Disney album is not fully planned out. It's, you know, kind of still up in the air in terms of some of the days of the trip, in terms of what photos need to be printed, if there's anything else that needs to go with them. But certain sections of my album are already dedicated to specific page sizes, pocket pages, 12 by 12, 8 and a half by 11. So those I feel comfortable dedicating to a month, for example, if that's what I want to do. But don't just stop at projects, it could be product focused as well. So you could want to finish one of your Felicity Jane kits or finish a Studio Calico kit. Um, just make it a goal that represents some of your larger goals in the year. So I have a lot of projects um, that I've started, like this one for example, like my 2016 Disney album for example, um, that I really want to get finished. And I started this one this year, so I'm going to end it this year as well. That's something I've decided, you know, with this series. And that's why mine's called Craft Your Stash Away One Project at a Time, because I'm focusing more so on my projects. And I'm still working on using my stash, not buying new things. You know, it's not... Just because I started a new project doesn't mean I have to go out and run and find the newest things for it. Um, I'm using some old We Are Memory Keepers, some DCWV from 2009. You know, we're making stuff work for us. And that's the goal of this series is to realize that we don't need new products to excite us. We can shop our stash. We can have fun with it. And I hope to share some tips along the way. And that's why for this series... I'll be doing update videos every Saturday, so throughout the month of March I'll be updating you on specific project I choose, and April will be the same and May will be the same unless things go differently. Um, but ideally, every, every Saturday you'll get an update from me showing you what I've done and what I plan to keep doing, or roadblocks I've hit, or ideas I can share with you guys to keep working on your projects, because I know a lot of us have Disney projects or travels that are in these tinier formats, and we might have made the decision to do it just because it was something we had or it seemed like a good idea at the time. Um, like for example, this was my first traveler's notebook. I think I have three sets of pages done, but it's also my first traveler's notebook. So I'm finding little things along the way that I might want to share with you guys. So every Saturday you'll be getting a video from me with an update and I got inspired by these kind of update videos thanks to the Freeze Gang. If you guys have not checked them out, I actually have them linked down below. I watched Chrissy's Beautiful Lives first and then I went to Moira's and then I've jumped around to the other ladies who've been doing them. But they've been doing update videos Fridays for their spending freeze and their plans for what they're using and how they're using it. So I was very much so inspired by them to base this series along with some updates like that. So like some real time, this is what a realistic crafter might be able to do. Um, some weeks I might not have anything done, but I've done some planning perhaps. So you guys will see the fluctuation more so in a real time versus my monthly formats, which are kit share at the beginning, process videos, and then at the end, here's everything I made. And it doesn't really show that struggle that might be happening every week in between where I didn't have time or I worked on other projects instead because of this reason or this reason. So 
we'll be diving into some of that kind of information but i do want to say a huge thank you to the freeze gang you guys are great um and again they'll be linked down below so you guys can check them out um but i'm really excited for this new series again i hope you guys are excited and will check out my blog post because i want you guys to craft your stash away along with me and whether it's project based whether it's product based there are unlimited possibilities but you need to make sure you're making it compact enough to fit within the month or three month time span I know that I'm trying to pick a different project each month to focus heavily on and then finish because I know that my creative juices kind of run out depending on the project. And if you guys might be wondering, Tuesday and Thursday videos will vary. I have a lot of series going on. I have How to Kill a Kit with Style going on. And while that might integrate into some of my projects, like I could use my How to Kill a Kit with Style with my Traveler's Notebook, for instance, that might not always be the case. So Tuesdays and Thursdays, Tuesdays and Thursdays uploads will be normal process videos most of the time and sometimes diving into my actual projects. So we shall see, but if you guys want even more from this series, I'm going to keep sharing tips and tricks about crafting your stash away, making your supplies work for you, um, things we've touched on in the 2020 Creative Reset here at the end over on Patreon. So if you're interested in that, head over there to check that out. I'm very happy with how Patreon's going and I'm so glad so there's some more of you joining us over there. And I think it's always worth checking out these kind of things, even if it's just for a month. And again, you can get early access to videos over there, um, exclusive real-time process videos, blog posts every Friday on there as well. So lots of fun to be had, but I'm really excited for Craft Your Stash Away into these spring months. It's almost like spring cleaning, but you're using instead of getting rid of, if that makes sense. So there's lots of ways to take this series, and I'm excited to take this adventure on with you. If you already have a mini goal in mind for this series that you guys want to do along with me, I would love for you to link it down below, you know, in the comments, just write out your little goal. I'd love to cheer you on as the month goes on and we can do updates together every Saturday. You'll comment on the videos. I'll check in on how you're doing with your goal and it'll be really fun. So if you want to do that, I would really enjoy it. And if you want to, you can post on Instagram too. We did an Instagram hashtag back for summer of stories. So I think this time we'll do hashtag craft your stash away 20 since it's 2020 and maybe we'll come back to this series. I'm also taking recommendations for new series. Um, I'm debating doing another round of summer of stories or if we should try something different. So that is on my horizon and we'll see where that comes in the future. But I hope you guys are excited for this new series. I'm excited to dive into some of these projects and a couple of you guys haven't even heard of that I want to start. Um, but it might seem crazy to start and finish a project within a month, but I promise you can do it if you really put your heart into it. And don't be afraid to just do a three month goal instead. I know a lot of us have very busy lives and that's okay, but head over to my blog post, read more about some of the details of my projects and what you can expect during this series time, but I'm very excited to bring it to you guys, and I hope you guys are excited to watch it. But don't mind this setup. I am still trying to figure out how to film in this room. My lights stay behind my desk now, and so it's a little bit tricky because there's no good wall to film on. If that makes sense, if you guys watched the room tour, you would know a little bit more about my space setup, but... I hope you guys enjoyed this announcement either way and thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe so you can continue watching this series and more videos that I post. But thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys again next time. Bye guys!